Hello there, grade 12s. In this example, we will be using theorem 1 of your grade 12 Euclidean geometry theorems to answer the following questions. So the first question that we're working with, we need to calculate with reasons the value of x in each of the following triangles. For these types of questions, I will need to compare one side of the triangle. So for example, AD, okay, over db i will be comparing it to the sides ae divided by ec that would be the same uh, for the other triangle as well what you could do as well is to compare ad to the entire side um, db and comparing that to the entire side ec Let's go ahead and begin calculating the value of x. So the first theorem, theorem 1, states that a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. So based on that, I then write my first statement, which is AD divided by DB. I know that will be equal to AE divided by E, C. The reason you will use there is line parallel to one side of triangle. This is one of the abbreviated reasons that is acceptable. In the next step, we will substitute in the values that we have into those ratios. So the length of AD is X, the length of DB is 2 centimeters. That should be proportional to the length AE, which is 12 centimeters, divided by EC, which is 3 centimeters. We can now solve for X. You can do this using your cross multiplication method or your balancing method. Right. X would therefore be equal to 8 centimeters. Let us now solve for X in the second triangle. So we will use the same method we did for the first one. We want to compare the two sides. Okay, the first side that we're going to compare is PS divided by SQ. We know that this ratio would be equal to PT divided by TR. As we said, you would need a reason for this. And that reason would be line parallel to one side of triangle. Now, let us go ahead and substitute in the values that we have. We know that PS is 9 centimeters, SQ is 4 centimeters. This would be equal to X, which is PT, over TR, which is 8 centimeters. Again, you want to make X the subject of the formula. Once you do that, you see that your X is equal to 18 centimeters. Let us now look at questions that are slightly different. We are using the same principle and the same theorem to solve for x in these two examples. Now, the difference is I will be comparing entire lengths. So um, Rs, uh, that is your x that you are doing to try and solve. Okay, You will compare that to the entire length Rt. In the same way, on the other side of the um, question 6, you will be comparing xz, okay, which is that, to the entire length xy. So you would need to add those two lengths together. All right, let us begin by uh, looking at question five. So for question five, we're going to write our ratio first, right? The ratio would be rs divided by us. This would be equal to RT divided by VT. The reason, again, that you're going to use here is line parallel to one side of triangle. Now, RS, that's the length X. That's what we're trying to solve. US is 8. RT, that would be 15 plus 5 divided by VT, which is Five. Let us simplify and solve for x. 15 plus 5 would give us 20. We divide that by 4 and multiply by 8, and that would give us x is equal to 32 units. Now, looking at question 6 now. For question 6, again, we're comparing 
the side xy, okay, divided by, divided by xz would be equal to xz divided by xd. The reason again is line parallel to one side of triangle. Let us now substitute in the values that we have, okay? xy, that would be 27 plus 9 divided by your xc, which is 27, okay? This would be equal to xz, which is 56, divided by x. When I simplify that, those ratios, I get 36 divided by 27 is equal to 56 divided by x. Now, you want to make your life easier and you want to isolate x, right? You are going to flip this ratio over, okay? What you do to the left-hand side, you have to do exactly the same thing to the right-hand side. So flipping them over, you end up with 27 divided by 36 is equal to x over 56. This is the same ratio. Now in the last step, okay, you multiply both sides by 56 and your answer would be equal to 42 centimeters.